Oh, he still has it. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right, man. Before this video begins, my face cam was off for a little bit of it, but it's going to be on afterwards. I just, my face cam was being weird at the time, so yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Player of the Month, Killian Mbappe card to review today. Uh, we're taking a look at Glitch Bappe, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he is six foot tall, high low work rates, right footed, five star skill moves with a four star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, he has the outside foot shot trait and he has the flare trait, uh, which is obviously really fun to work with. Uh, In-game attributes, he does have perfect pace already, so you don't have to improve that, which is fantastic because with this card, we are going to be trying him out on the Marksman Chemistry style to boost his finishing, shot power, and long shots as much as possible while improving his dribbling stats. Now, with Kylian Mbappe, guys, when it comes to his balance, you feel it in-game, but you don't actually care about it at all, right? Because with Mbappe... His unique body type, while being six foot tall, works out really well in game. That's why he's called Glitch Bappe, because when he runs into defenders, he's just super, super jamming. He just gets the ball constantly, right? So that's not really something to be concerned about when it comes to a card like Mbappe. Uh, with his passing stats, you know, for a card that's going to be used in any of the attacking positions, depending on what your play style is, because of the high-low work rate, uh, the passing is going to be perfectly fine. Long passing, you may do sometimes, but not that often. It's mostly going to be in the short passing area uh, that you want to be as good as possible in. We are giving him a marksman because we want him to be as good as possible dribbling-wise so that he can move across the pitch in really nice ways. Uh, with defensive stats, he's got 78 heading accuracy. He's got 96 for stamina. So if you actually want to use him in those side areas, you definitely can if you have that comeback and defense instruction. And then obviously with the marksman chemistry style, he's going to have... 94 strength to work with a 95 for jumping so it is essentially a perfect striker right that's what he basically is but uh yeah with Mbappe guys we are going to be trying him out in obviously the striker position and in this case we actually have some interesting variables to work with because if you guys haven't checked out the Nkunku review be sure to do so because he is pretty good so we'll be using Mbappe in the striker position next to Kareem Benzema uh, the new patch for the game has slightly improved the experience of playing the game. So I do like that uh, they did that defensive change. You can definitely tell that people still try their best to park the bus as much as possible. But uh, you definitely notice a change in the game, which is definitely a huge plus. So yeah, we'll use him in that striker area. Hopefully he performs like a beast. What I'm actually going to do is rotate him into that left striker position for the sake of the review. So uh, yeah, we'll get into a couple games with him and we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast, which we all know he's going to be, right guys? All right, Glitch Bappe, let's see what you're like. Oh yeah, he's already doing... He's already... You know, he's the improved version of the Glitch. You know, the improved version of the Glitch. Oi! Come on, man, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. I might be able to get the free kick tactic here with Mbappe. And then go for the near post. Did I miss or did he save it? Okay, I missed it. I didn't expect him to go with his left foot right there. That was actually kind of strange. But um, animation choices during the moments, right? Probably could have taken like a first time scoop turn. Get that consistent shot angle. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, I mean, he's one of the best players in the game when it comes to the AI. That's like, that's like a given. His AI is, you guys know I always talk about Flashback Benzema, but, you know, Mbappe is the other guy, too, that has the most ridiculous attacking AI. Ooh, too much power. The accuracy was crazy, though. I have to green it. You got to put more power when it comes to the shots. But when you green them, there's just like a nice little consistent feel to it, right? Dude, his dribbling, like just the responsiveness feels ridiculous. Oh, his movement is so nice. I like that he doesn't linger. I like that he doesn't linger in the, um, what a deflection, by the way, is I like that he doesn't linger in the side positions, right? Like when he's there and I start to move into the middle, he's like really quick at moving back into the middle, you know? 
Oh, you gotta try it to see if he has any sort of animation to actually win the ball in the air there. Oh, I honestly thought he was gonna score a turnaround shot. I was like, no way, dude. You can see that there was two different situations there, though, that if I adapted quickly, I could have just made the pass him and he would have been great. Oh, maybe? Okay. Yeah. I mean, dude, just, just that run right there, you guys can see that he's literally one of the best in the game when it comes to that AI. It's just disgusting. See what I'm saying about the jam? He's a glitch, man. Sorry, I was super focused, man. Like, you guys know how this game is with the AI stuff, because, like, we beat him, like, a billion times there. That was actually nuts. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my goodness. If I, I should have greened it, though. I should have greened it. Under pressure as well, though, guys. But that run, though, was disgusting again. Ah, uh, almost, almost. Oh my goodness, we hit the post there, no chance. Don't worry about it, Glitch Bappe's here. Glitch Bappe's here, even with his own animation, you see that? <laughs> Dude, having Mbappe and Karim Benzema's attacking guy up top is so disgusting. Oh! <laughs> almost, almost. Jeez, man. This card, you know what it is, bro? The, the reason why people keep using Kylian Mbappe is because he's just always constantly everywhere on the pitch, man. And that atta and the attacking third, it's just disgusting, man. Ah, uh, yeah, I did it way too early there. Way too early. I thought he was going to push his goalkeeper a little bit more there. Oh, he still has it. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He sent me a message. Calm down. <laughs> You know, I used to think about it all the time. I used to say like, oh, there's no way. Like, like it's crazy that people use Mbappe all the time. But like, can you blame them? Can you blame them for using this card? He literally, like, he makes the game fun. You know? <laughs> like, can you blame them, dude? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this card is just like it's a it's a, he's glitch bappe. He's glitch bappe, bro. He's glitch bappe. He's glitch bappe. Okay, guys. I mean, final verdict on the Killian Mbappe card. I mean, guys, what is there what else is there to say? The shots that he missed, guys, you have to understand that there's two variables when it comes to finishing in this game, okay? 
the opportunities where I got myself into high percent strike opportunities, right? Like me facing the net a certain way at a certain angle, he's going to score those opportunities most times, okay? Those angles that I didn't score from, it's because I didn't green time the shot, and it's because those shots in general for FIFA are not high percentage enough. But when you, that's why you have to go for green time shots on literally any strike that you go for, okay? Guys, Mbappe is a glitch this year. This card is absolutely brilliant okay he is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that he isn't like you know i tell people all the time like you know what i don't understand how people can use like full meta teams all the time i would get bored right but i get it you know i do get it but i'd still get bored you know but i get it because this card is disgusting man he's disgusting attacking ai literally one of the best in the game if not the best right it's him and kareem benzema benzema, benzema and mbappe up top just if, if if Benzema's card moved and dribbled and had the skills and all that stuff like Mbappe, my goodness, right? But Mbappe is way better, obviously, because he's good at everything, right? The shooting comes off great. The passing for being a striker or a player in the side position is perfectly fine. He's one of the few cards that I don't care about giving a balance boost to because his six-foot height and his unique body type is phenomenal in game. Like, you, you notice it, but it actually... It's weird. It's like it's like it helps them glitch through people. I don't know how to explain it. It's like it, it, that's what it looks like when you're playing with him, right? The fact that he has the five star skills to be able to do the uh, what is it? The McGeady cancel, the thing that I do. I hate the ball roll scoop without passion, but you can ball roll scoop with him. You know, he has a 96 stamina to pretty much use in any attacking position. I think it comes as no surprise to anybody that this card is just on a different breed. He's a different breed. This year, this card is one of the best. Like, pro players will use, you know, the team of the year, the headliners, whatever. Like, they'll use these cards because this guy, there's... I, I would say there's nobody that plays like him. Maybe the Icon moments, they play like him. Maybe like a Croy for something, but I never tried those cards out yet. But he, this is as full meta as it gets. It really... It, you can't get further than this, man. And guys, listen. When it comes to the chemistry styles... Just give him a marksman, okay? Because boosting the shooting, the dribbling, and the physicality, right? The physical part of the card, while being six foot tall, the unique body type, is amazing, okay? There's some people that give him, like, a maestro, right? Uh, a maestro gives him uh, a really nice shot power boost because, to be fair, his shooting is already in a good position with 95, 96, with the 99 shot power, and then you boost the dribbling. The thing about his dribbling, guys, right? Like, hear me out on this. So this is not a wrong chemistry style because boosting his passing, if you use him in the side positions, I do not mind that whatsoever because the fact that his base card stats for shooting is already in a good position is fantastic too, right? You don't improve the dribbling as much, but the shooting is going to be in a good area and the passing is going to be in a good area. So if you wanted to go with this, it wouldn't be a bad choice either. I'd probably go with this more if I wanted to specifically use him in the side positions more than through the middle. But through the middle, you know, you know me, guys. I'm a, I need the dribbling to be as high as possible, you know. But the shooting, it's no matter what chemistry style you give him, is great. So the card's full meta. There's really not much to say about it. If you guys complete this SBC, you're going to get one of the best strikers in the game. That's literally what it comes down to. There's nothing else. And the fact that, you know, he's from League One, PSG, French Links, I mean... Guys, this card nowadays, this Janola card, I never did a review for him this year because I reviewed, I checked him out like super late into the game, right? But he is phenomenal, right? So even nowadays, he's really good. So boom, there's your link just like that, right? And then like the strong links, I mean, uh, guys, he's a striker, so you could put him as a center mid, get the Marquinhos link, get the Hakimi link. Like uh, there's so many things. Sergio Ramos, like... Cardi, if you still have that card, but this card is just so much better. Like, there's there's not much else to say. Like, the card is phenomenal. If you get this card as an SBC, he's disgusting in this game. So, listen, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. Doing these 11 squads killed me, but on the review account, it was worth it. So, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.